So, we finally got to it. The big one, in a sense. O come, O come, Emmanuel. You know, when it comes to Advent songs, and ones we know, and ones we hear all the time, I think this is, this is the one. The one that is so often sung in churches, the one that, that we all know, that's, that really is, is all about Advent. And what's so special about it is, it draws us back to the same idea of Emmanuel, of Christ coming, of Jesus coming into our lives, like we've been hearing about in all, or at least many of these songs. Um, but it does so in a very, very unique and special way. Now, that was a long song that we heard, and it's because it has seven different verses. And what's so unique, what's so interesting about those seven verses are that they come from seven prayers, from seven antiphons, really, that we use in the liturgies of our church starting on December 17th. Each day has one of these verses, one of these antiphons um, that we use and that we pray with and that we reflect upon. And during this time, from the 17th on all the way through up until Christmas, we get to use these to remind us of who Christ is and really all the things that he's all about. You know, we hear about Emmanuel, this name we hear all the time, but we also hear about um, Christ and his wisdom. We hear about the Lord of might. We hear about the rod of Jesse, the key of David. We hear about the day spring from on high and Christ as the desire of nations. We hear these different titles, maybe we could say, these different um, descriptions of who Jesus is and all the ways that he enters into our lives. And many of them are also kind of reaching back, reaching back into the Old Testament to tell us that, well, this isn't just, you know, a, a Jesus Christ, a Messiah who's, you know, now in the future, but he's one who's fulfilling. He's fulfilling these ancient prophecies. He's the one who is to come, who God promised so long ago and is now here. What an incredible thing. And so what an incredible thing it is for us to get to think about, to pray about, and to sing about. And so my brothers and sisters, as you hear this song, because I'm sure you will now and you know, in these days ahead, as you get to sing, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, pay attention. Pay attention to these words. Pay attention to the ways in which Jesus is explained, in which he shared, not just you know, in our prayers and in our mass, but in the song that's out there in the world. It's a beautiful way for us to reflect on him, and for us to remember that during this Advent season, he's the one that we're preparing for.